Assalamu alaikum. Invite endless blessings into your home. Please subscribe now, the button below. That be aggressive in your da'wah, you're wanting to serve, you're wanting to get the attention of Sayyidina Muhammad not waiting for a bus to hit you and then email, I have all these problems, all these problems, all these problems. That make a stance in which you want to do something good, you want to be promoting, you want to to do something to get the attention of Sayyidina Muhammad And the easiest is to propagate what the shaykhs are teaching. If you like what they're teaching, post it on your page, share it with five friends, six friends. You know there's a hundred to two hundred people watching, if they send it to five people it's a thousand people. Send the feed to your, your own page. Send it to ten other people, five other people. We have books that are on Amazon, yeah. Hey there's me back there too. Have you read the books? Get the books, read the books. Post the books on your page and put a nice comment. You'd be surprised with all the thousands of people, seven people left the comment. What about the other ones who got the book and decided they don't want to leave a comment? You can't say something nice or you say, it doesn't matter. If everyone thinks it doesn't matter, collectively it doesn't matter for anyone. It takes just one person to think that, no it does matter. It does matter for me to show that I love this teaching. I love Sayyidina Muhammad above all, I love the fact that you're teaching about that love. And then of course I want to leave a comment and of course I want to share it and of course I want to put out a post that says that this book is, is ideal for me, this book was wonderful, this post was wonderful, this live zikr is wonderful. And you become proactive in life, sit on the couch, do absolutely nothing and reactive that, oh my gosh I'm being attacked, oh my gosh I lost my job, oh my gosh I can't stand my spouse. Maybe these good things that we do have an immense barakah, they don't cost you anything. It just takes a heart that cares. You know the, the, there was an expression that a person was going and all these starfish had wo washed up on shore. And there was a young person went to one starfish ooh, and threw it back into the ocean. And a more jaded person, older person in life came to the younger child and said, you know all these starfishes are washed up on the beach, why did you take this one and throw it back, what do you think you're going to achieve? And the child responded that, for that one starfish it meant the whole world, he was saved by me. It's just the small actions that count. If everyone does the small action then it becomes a huge action. But if we're waiting for one person to do a huge action that one person never comes. It's a grassroots effort, there's no country of Malaysia or Brunei who steps in and says, here's all the money for your Facebook, for your video cameras, for your uh, internet feeds, for your all of these expenses, Brunei doesn't come and send a check. But it's the two hundred people who are watching or a hundred who are seriously watching, forty to fifty who are really dedicated and watching, reading and participating. It's the few that represent many in life and that's why Prophet described that, my companions are like shining stars. Had the sky been filled with shining stars there would be no night time. It would just be continuous day, Allah has a wisdom in that. If you feel attracted to something and you feel that it's important, it's real, it has and represents the love that you feel in your heart, then you have to become a shining star and you have to participate in it because a shining star gives guidance. And it doesn't care, somebody likes the guidance, don't like the guidance, we're not into popularity and, and hoping people will say that we like it and we don't like it and then we change what we don't. If you don't like it we ban you from your comments and if you like it, welcome aboard our choo-choo train is going. 
So inshaAllah in our lives be more active so that not so much difficulty visits us. And then maybe we can get emails about how things are opening, everything is great or so much barakah in my life, so many fantastic things are happening. Because they tell you about all the bad and then they forget to tell you when things are starting to go good. It's just a line of you know problem, 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 problem. But what about with your good character and good actions that you begin to comment that, oh all these wonderful things are opening, my heart is opening, all of this light is coming. I feel that from last year to this year my level of knowledge is completely something else. It's like I went from kindergarten to PhD understandings of the love of Sayyidina Muhammad the level of understanding of Ramadan, of Muharram, of Rajab, of Shabban, of all these months and all the realities of what they taught of those months. For some in one year it was like kindergarten to PhD level in, in understandings. We pray that Allah inspire our hearts, it's the few that represent many. We're not waiting for any one big person to change the whole atmosphere. It's the collective whole of all of the people being involved, feeling that they're committed to it. That's a, a lot of the secret of these logos, these images, these items. We're in a world now where we're all isolated and we're all alone. And shaitan gets each sheep and puts him to be alone. And when he's alone he began to attack him. And we, we gave an example before they took a sheep and they put it in a glass room with a wolf. The sheep was so petrified just by staring at the wolf it died from stress. So this concept that Prophet has inspired is that make them to feel like a family, that I feel like I'm a fellowship with them, I listen to them, I watch them. I, I, I read the articles, I feel the familiarity, I even have something from them that makes me feel like we're a group and that we're together and it's the companionship and the fellowship of those whom trying to improve themselves. Tariqahs were based on that by going and living near the shaykh and practicing the practices. Now the world is big and borders are more difficult to cross. And Allah opened that now through audio-visual technologies. So when you have the logo, you have a cup, you have a tasbih, you have something, you say, I'm a part of them, I'm with them, I'm listening to him, I'm reading from this knowledge and this reality and it builds an immense familiarity. So that you're not a sheep alone and shaitan come to bother you. That there's many whom are supporting you. We pray that Allah dress us and bless us with more and more understanding, mm -hmm. inshaAllah. Click the link now to subscribe. <laughs>